I am recalling a mottled green bench in my schoolyard, North Kaneshi, Accra. I love reading, I love talking to people. I just love sharing my work. In water, gravity numbed at the cost of oxygen made their breaths catch for a taste of weightlessness. Space. Well, what we've found through the Yardstick programme is that we're introducing new audiences to quite often new literature. What happens with the audience is my story collides with their story and that's the experience. Without them, there is no experience. It's just a dead book. My rear end snug on its edge. Laughter resonant in the post-snack break chatter. Nee Parks is a writer originally from Ghana. He's written poetry, short stories, plays. The reason I particularly was interested in bringing him into Bristol was because he's been involved in encouraging young people to write encouraging people to look at black books. He's been organising festivals. The passion he brings over with is just really inspiring. I'm very interested in things that seem insignificant until my four friends rise as one and I fall. Language are just, you know, bubbles of sound really and all the meaning, all the emotion comes from the interpretations you make. The feedback we've been getting from our audiences is brilliant. Please let us have some more. And the great thing about the Arts Council funding, it, it gives us the, the confidence to take that risk and to try more diverse programming. My mother warned me about laid back men like me, men with rough beards and dreadlocks whose hands are comfortable settling into pockets. One of the challenges which are happening at the moment is lots of people use the phrase a library for the 21st century, but they don't necessarily define what that is. Part of what we're trying to do with Yardstick is to really say that for readers and writers, the library is the natural home where they should come together to discuss and exchange their views and their thoughts on writing and on books. Through the Grants for the Arts application, we were able to buy staging and a PA system that's really improved the quality of the experience of people attending our events. So it's more than just beyond audience development, it's actually the quality of the production has shot right up as well. I read his book a couple of years ago and I was just blown away and having the opportunity to actually see him here reading, it was just amazing. I think it's important for libraries to do this kind of thing because I don't really use libraries for books anymore. And I think a lot of people like that, you know, with Kindles and the internet. So it's finding another reason to come into a library. So I think it's the direction that libraries need to go in. We'd really encourage other library authorities to apply to Grants for the Arts because it was quite effortless, really. The bench rises like the hull of a torpedoed ship to strike me. Five minus four equals four.